Welcome back. Uh, I did, I know there's, I did actually do a bit of off-camera stuff. Wasn't nothing too interesting. I actually did record the audio, but I, I found it was very boring li listening over it. Uh, I didn't even listen, to, even have to listen over it. I just knew it was bad. <laughs> just by hearing what I was saying, I, I was really tired because it was, I was doing this at like three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so... I, uh, can I breathe? Yes, yeah, so I <clears throat> made this cow and sheep pen. Uh, I, can't, I already breeded them once each, but uh, they haven't. Not, not, there has enough time hasn't passed where I can breed them again. And I started working on a little mine, where I'm gonna strip mine. I'm probably not gonna do that. T I'm gonna finish the mine right now, but I'm probably not gonna do too much strip mining on camera because that's. I might do a little bit. Maybe I'll just find something to talk about, maybe make it a bit more interesting, but... Overall, that's... Okay, just making sure. <laughs> now I have to compulsively check OBS to make sure, like, the camera hasn't messed up or the audio is not wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna add stairs here in a minute. Let me wait for it to sleep first. I haven't. I've slept through every night. <laughs> I haven't had to survive a single night, baby. Some may call that cheap, but I call it strateg strate strateg strategical thinking. Strategy. I'm trying to think which which sounds better, but no, you don't get to sleep. You don't get to sleep. Go to the, go to the house. There were enough beds before you guys joined here. This is my bed that I brought. Why are you sleeping? Literal idiot. Okay. No mob should have spawned. Oh, I just realized I took my armor off for the beginning of the video for some reason. That's kind of dumb. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go to Y11, I think. That's where I usually go to. Because uh, I think, like, the most diamonds spawn from Y12 to, I think... Is it Y8? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh... So if you're at Y11, you can diamonds can spawn above you, and below you instead of just at least the likelihood's stronger. Hmm. Okay, we're not too. F I might just. <laughs> Told you that second pickaxe would come in handy. I'm trying to think if I did that on camera or not. Like, I know I did it while I was recording, but uh, I'm not sure if you guys saw it because that first half of the video was bad. into a cave that's actually pretty good I'm gonna want to put a door there a dogs chewing some kind of stick I think oh never mind uh, speak of the devil here is a cave but it's actually a pretty good cave to be honest uh, Make sure I'm at full hunger. There's some gold. Okay, so we're kind of at the exact spot we need to be. To find diamonds, we might actually find some diamonds. This isn't actually too... Does this only exist? Uh, no, it goes up here a little bit. Okay. Uh, Oh, now this cave only kind of exists in this room. I might actually use this as like an underground base. Put another portal right here, maybe? Because it kind of looks cool, honestly. Just slide it up a bit so mobs don't spawn, because it doesn't connect to any of the caves. This is solely 
It solely exists on its own. I could put a house in here. I know I was talking about making one in the mountain, but I kind of like this. Okay, so... Where is this? This is wild. This is Y11 right here, so this is actually perfect. I might want to move that lava and just not have it there. Huh. I kind of want to keep the lava pool here. It looks nice. I don't think I'm going to fall in it. So, let me light this place up a bit. This is pretty good, yeah. Oh, <laughs> not today. Hmm. Make a few more torches. <laughs> yeah, I need to move that. Uh. Oh, hot stuff. You know, uh, wait. The new advancement sets are okay, but I miss the old advancements. I think it didn't even say it said achievements back then, right? It didn't even say advancements. I don't know why they. I feel like that's a weird change, right? Like kind of very unnecessary. <laughs> change from achievements to uh, advancements. Like they mean the same thing, so I just keep it achievements. Like. Most people think of it as achievements because that's what they're called in every other game. Is it, or is it, or is that the reason? So that it's not Minecraft isn't like every other game. Okay, I don't think there's any dot. Mm, why did uh, parkour? Okay, uh, I don't really want to put this. I make a fountain instead. Hm. I'll just put this here for now. <laughs> huh. So I think I have put this enough where mobs will not spawn. Maybe right here. I know, I know you can count them out, but I really don't feel like doing that. Yeah, this should be good. I think I don't think any mobs will spawn here. So, uh... I, did, I didn't bring my crafting table with me, that's fine. Is it... It's still daytime. I don't want to walk up there and it be nighttime. It's, oh, I didn't even bring my... Yeah, but I'm, I, I, I think I'm going to make a base down here. Once I get, like, a water elevator going, this these stairs will be... A lot less time. Uh, honestly, water ele elevators aren't that hard to make, but uh, it can be time kind of time consuming. Not, not even that. It's just hmm. I already kind of have this going. Maybe I'll have like another one go up from the mountain. Maybe I'll have both. Oh right, right. I was gonna make stairs. I should have enough cobble to make all the stairs I need. Uh. I write stairs, yeah. That's that's what that's what the people want, right? Yeah, that's more than enough. Okay, is it easier just going down? No. Okay. No mobs should be back there. If they are, I can. Okay. That's what I get for going too fast, uh... Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Why am I thinking of the John Cena thing? I feel like John Cena never played enough villains in wrestling. Like, he was always the good guy. Like, he... I don't really watch WWE that much anymore, but when I did, I feel like John Cena was one of the few people who never really got a decent villain role like even like even like the people that are usually good guys or like just the protagonist of wwe got to be villains like had villain arcs or vice versa 
I feel like John Cena always was kind of just the man there. Hmm. Well, whatever. I mean, maybe it's more profitable that way. I don't know. Okay, so maybe start the mine on this wall, I'm thinking. This is, this is Y12, so actually maybe here. Have a little room. Go inside. Did I still have some. I did not. Okay. Hmm. That is nice. Nice. I could add some decorations later on. Emerald. Oh, right, because we're in a mountain biome, aren't we? Uh. Yeah, okay. Let's go. <gasps> Three out. So it's seven out overall. That should be a square. Doom, do 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 do. Oh, yeah, right. You can't, you can't do anything. Can't, can't sing anything. Or else the cat. I might, I might want to make this go down. I feel like that will look kind of nice if it goes down. Maybe. I usually make the ceiling high, but. <sighs> Something to talk about. What's something about Minecraft? Maybe some TV shows. Huh. What context can I talk about TV without spoiling it and ruining it and ruining the show for everyone else? Why did I do that? Oh, it's definitely. Um, did I sleep? Uh. Yeah, I did not. So, I need to be careful when I walk back up there because I didn't bring my bed with me. down just to like a one up from here still to bring the crafting table whatever I'll just make another one Like these things are expensive.
Okay, this doesn't look too bad. Uh, I'll put torches here, there. I'll change that later. Okay. Yeah, okay. Don't go up there. And even when you do, make sure you have your shield in your hand or else Creeper will kill you. <sighs> creeper always kill you. Sad, really. Okay, so, uh, I might, I can get, make an enchantment, I can, I can actually make a full enchantment table the moment I get, uh, I guess five diamonds. Yeah, that's nice. Because I need three for the pick. I like the flowing lava from up here. It's... I might actually add more flowing lava, like, just for ambiance, maybe. I feel like that would look cool. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm gonna go mine the rest of this iron in here, I guess. Okay, I guess TV shows. TV shows, TV shows. Any of you guys watched uh, Better Call Saul? It's pretty good. It's a, it's a prequel to Breaking Bad, but you don't, you don't you would appreciate it more if you've watched Breaking Bad beforehand, but you don't really have to. But I, I'd probably suggest that you do. You know, some, I'm honestly leaning towards liking Better Call Saul more than Breaking Bad, just because I kind of like the characters a bit more. Yeah. I, I just, I just, yeah, I think that's, I th that's a good, it's safe to say. Daisy, shut up. Just kidding. I wouldn't say that to my dog, she's sweet. I hate how it makes two, three doors. I understand, like, it makes sense in, like, the context of it giving you a, like, since it's two blocks, really, so if you have six, it would give you three. But then again, why are trap doors so stupid? You do this, you get two trap doors for six? Are you saying each trap door is worth three oak planks, but each door is only worth two? That's dumb. That makes zero sense. It should give me six trap doors when I do that, not two. It's dumb. It's dumb. They need to add. They still. <laughs> they need to add a freaking woodcutter to the game. Right, I'm gonna do this. Like, they have the stone cutter. Which is pretty useful for like making stuff, but no woodcutter. Like, <laughs> what is? There's so many woods, and they're like the most versatile substance in the game, and you just have, but you added a freaking stone cutter. I don't know. So. I guess I'll start strip mining here. I might actually. Did I? Where did I mine my trapdoors go? Wow, oh, I put them in here. Oh, I did. Okay, I, I know what I did. Yeah. I did that a lot. <laughs> I like to crawl when I strip mine because I think that the odds are a little bit faster. Also, you don't have to light torches everywhere you go since mobs cannot spawn there. Let's see if it's day. It's still not day. So I guess I'll just work on this a bit. Uh, da, 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 da. 
all the stuff I don't need. Definitely gonna need another pickaxe. I'm going strip mining. Do, 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 do. I'll work on an actual house later. Maybe I'll make it in here and under. But I kind of want it to. I want it to be like just a house in a cave. Like it's a normal house, but it also exists. And like, but I don't really have that much room to be honest. This is the cave update, and they like the huge caves they have. I could probably work with it, but it is not. So I might just, I might do a mountain base. I don't know. We'll see. For now, we're doing this. We'll go from there. Hmm. Let's check my cords and go in this way. So. Let's go 100 back. I do not remember the number that it was. Was it 87, I want to say? <laughs> I don't mean to press that down. Okay. What time is it? 2.30. So we've been going for about 30 minutes. A little less, I think. I didn't make any that <laughs> I don't know what I thought was gonna happen that doesn't look the worst maybe add some I'm just gonna take these off. This looks weird. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if it's day. It is. So, sword in hand. Shield in hand. I have a feeling there's gonna be a creeper the moment we step outside. How about you guys? Okay, no creeper. No creeper. No creeper yet. Hmm. I think I'm gonna move some of this. Enderman, I am gonna fight him right quick. I am gonna. Hey, Enderman. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Hey, bud. Hey, bud. No e pearl. Did get a grass block though, so that's alright. May if I ever make another underwater over I usually make a base that's kinda of over water. But what I like to do is uh <laughs> just place lava buckets to create like a stone platform for me to base my base around. And then I just kinda of go from there. Next SMP, uh my friends and I do. I'm gonna try to record it and then it's probably gonna be like a while though, so it's like 1.17, but but still. Hmm. Okay. Huh. I'm. I, I'll talk about games. You know, I'll talk about I'll talk about Zelda. 
I like Zelda. No, wait, I'll talk about Zelda. I'm gonna talk about Kirby. Kirby, yeah. Kirby Kirby's one of my one of my favorite franchises. Uh it's I'm gonna place this like this. It was the first real like franchise, like classical video game I've ever played. The first game I guess the first games ever played was like those little flash games, like on Cool Math and stuff like that. One that I always played a lot was physics games, and my brother showed it to me. Had a bunch of like, uh, like in the name, physics games, like. But uh, they were fun. They were like just a bunch of puzzle games essentially, and I always found them enjoyable. So, the, but uh, other than like those games, the first game I played was I guess maybe I, actually I don't think it was Minecraft. I think I think it was probably the first game I beat. I, okay, I can say this with certainty. First game I ever beat was Kirby's Epic Yarn for the Nintendo Wii. Uh, and honestly, if you're trying to get any young person into, like, video games, trying to, like, show them at least, the, at least like, classic kind of video games like that, Kirby's Epic Yarn is a great uh, place to start. Because it's incredibly fun. It's charming. The music's great. Uh... Uh, the game's fun, but it but it's easy. It's 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 an easy game. You you can't die. I mean, sure, like getting hurt and falling down pits, you lose gems, but uh, a kid probably won't care about the gems as much as they'll care about something else. But so I so and uh, let me just check the chord. Is it once one eighty six? One eighty six. I need to go to one thousand eighty six. But Kirby's Epic Yarn is. A great game. It's not as like a classic traditional Kirby game, but it doesn't really have to be. Wait, is this going the opposite? Oh, it needs to be oh two eighty six. Okay, this is going in the positive direction. Yeah, because we're going east. Okay, so two eighty six would be a hundred. Anyway, so Kirby's Epic Yarn. It's the first game I ever really beat, and then I think I immediately moved on to Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Which, to this day, is one of my favorite games of all time. Ooh, Silverfish. I feel like I never run into this Silverfish. Did I actually... No, I didn't pick up any. False stone, whatever. Infested stone. Yeah, but to this day, Kirby's Return to Dreamland is one of my favorite games out there. Because it's... It's not... It's, it's a great Kirby game. Like, it... Okay. It was the first mainline Kirby game since... At least console-wise, since Superstar, if I'm not mistaken, right? Because most of them were on handhelds until Kirby's Return to Dreamland came back out. Which isn't bad, it's just like... Like, some of the best Kirby games are handhelds, which I'll get into later, I guess. Yep, okay. It's a cave. It is. Okay. You can actually shift on these, luckily enough, which is kind of weird to think about. <laughs> Since you're not really even crouching, it just still functions as the same purpose. Hey. Anyway, so Kirby's Return to Dreamland. It, it's actually, if you're playing on EX mode, it's a hard game. Like, the challenges are hard. The Even if you're not playing in EX mode, it can be hard, especially if you're doing, like, the bonus levels at the end. Though Those are annoying, especially since you... I feel like I got crushed a lot. Okay. There we go. Oh. But the It's my it's maybe not the best Kirby game out there, but it, it I think it's my favorite just cuz the nostalgia factor. But also just cuz it's it's my first mainline Kirby game. Like Kirby's Epic Yarn is still one of my favorite games. It's just not not a classical Kirby game. Kirby's Return to Dreamland is and I I really enjoyed that about it. And the true arena is fun. 
I, something I don't get. Okay, I'm not, I'll get. I'll get to that later. I'll get to that later. I'm gonna rant about Star Allies later. Why it's an why it's an okay game. But let's just I'm I'm gonna move forward instead of backwards. I don't really feel like talking about old school Kirby games that much. Now let me. I'm just gonna go a hundred forwards and I'm gonna go a hundred back and a hundred back. I I should have enough pickaxe for that. Maybe. Let's just see where this is. Okay, this is 54, and we're going forward, so it should be 2654. 2654, okay. Anyway, but the next Kirby game in the series is Triple Deluxe, which came out on the 3DS, and is a very fun handheld game. Like, like it's, it's, it's basically, essentially, a Kirby's Return to Dream Land 2, except it's not multiplayer, and there's, like, less many games. But other than that, it's pretty much the, it uses the same engine, I'm pretty sure. The same, like, general mechanics as Kirby's Return to Dreamland, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, the Kirby's Return to Dreamland style is just a better version of classic Kirby, so I'm not, I'm not complaining there. Just pointing it out. That that is what exists. 2654. I got 50 blocks ahead. And, in some ways it is better than Return to Dreamland, just in the fact that its setting is more interesting, but, like, the Kirby's Return to Dreamland, I'm gonna go back to it for a bit, there's seven worlds, and they're pretty basic, first world, grass world, surprise, surprise, uh, second world, desert world, also, surprise, when have you ever seen that before, like, in every platformer, <laughs> every Nintendo platformer, like, and then third world water, fourth world snow. Fifth world is interesting. It's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's sky world. You go on a big tower and ascend through this. So that's probably the best. Nutty noon, probably the best world in the game. I'd probably say. Also, the soundtrack's amazing. Uh, especially for that world, I think. Other other worlds aren't bad. I'm just saying that one's the most original and like it has I think the best setting. In my opinion. But then you go to Halkandra, which is where Magalor lives, uh, and you're going, you, you go there to, to fight Landia, but anyway, uh, the first world is Egg Engines, which is the longest world in the game. It is the most tedious, uh, I can say with certainty. What was it? Yeah, okay, 186. And like, e emeralds, okay. Yeah, it has a lot of water levels. I mean, like, it doesn't have a lot. It just has like one main one, and it's always annoying because I I always die to stupid spikes, and lose one of the power ups that you need to, like, actually get all the things in the level. Which is a very specific thing that <laughs> it's kind of weird to just say out loud. Like, cause it just okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay. <sighs> Anyway, so then the next world is uh, Dangerous Dinner, which is a lava world. Uh, well, th then there's technically a, a world eight, which is really cool, but that's kind of a spoiler. It's not really a traditional world. It's more of a mini level kind of thing. But uh, it's really cool. Uh, oh, if, if I run out, that would suck. I guess I could just... Oh, I could, and I don't have any of my stuff on it. Actually, no, I do. I have, I don't have enough for crafting. I do, I do, never mind. If I, if I have to make another pick, I can, it's fine. Uh, but, uh, so, and so the, but, I, I can give it a pass, because it's, it's really the first Kirby game in HD. Okay, I think, wait, never mind. Yeah, it's the first Kirby game in, like, full 3D. Like, oh, not, not really. Kirby 64 was in full 3D, but, like, first Kirby game in HD, I guess. Like, it, it, the renders are, like, smooth, it looks exactly like, but basically modern Kirby, it looks exactly like how Kirby lo just looks like now. I get, it, it, yeah, <laughs> I guess the first Kirby game that had, like, I guess you could say his melee render, except maybe, oh, well, at least mainstream, because I guess, uh, oh, wait, frick, what's it called? 
the Kirby Racing game. I can't. Why can't I think of its name? I'm never at. Uh, anyway, th th that that technically is the first. It's on the GameCube, but that's not a main. That's a spinoff game. So, no, I went too far. It was 86. I, I have to go this way anyway later, so it's fine. But still. Yeah, that's the first. I can give it a pass because it's the first mainstream Kirby game on a console in HD. And it's also like we haven't had a Kirby game like that, really a mainstream Kirby game since I think it was uh, Squeak Squad, and which has which it, it was it was an all right game, like but all right kind of overall <gasps> fairly underwhelming. Like it wasn't bad, it just wasn't really that good. A lot of a lot of missed potential. Uh. But anyway, so I can give it a pass for not for being unoriginal, for at least in that in that sense. Now Kirby's Triple Lux actually takes the basis, and, and though it is still kind of basic, like you do start in Grass Worlds, they go in a lot of different directions. They so have like I think the, a Candy World is the second world I want to say. I just played this game other day, other like a uh, month ago. I should know this. Anyway. Maybe like a candy world, uh, another sky world, which isn't too original. But anyway, the, the, just the, the setting is more diverse than it is. It's like, even if it is like similar, they have their own style. Like the grass world looks like, doesn't look like a grass world in any other Kirby. I should get this later. Doesn't look like a grass world in any other Kirby game. It has a very distinct style that is original to only triple deluxe. So, in that aspect, it... Even though it's still a basic Kirby game, it, it's original. And then, and also it's just a really good game. Speaking of Triple, Triple Lux might have the hardest true arena, in my opinion. I mean, you can argue the one in Star Allies is harder if you're not doing... If you if you don't use any Dream Friends. But if you do use Dream Friends, it's actually pretty easy. Because you can cheese so many battles just by using the Dream Friends. So you kind of have to nerf yourself to make it harder oh okay, here we go yeah but to make yeah, it but but other than that i think triple lux is the hardest because mm, actually i don't know it depends on what power you're using the last time i played triple lux i used archer and it was way easier than it. I, in the past I've used Bell just because it had a decent block and it kind of had long semi long range attacks but then Archer just like is so much better than any other power up and like any other copy ability in the game like you have the long range the literally the longest range possible and uh it does so the most like if when you charge it up it does so much damage to the bosses it's just not fair this ain't fair I take my bed with me, I did. Okay, cool. So anyway, Kirby from Deluxe, great game. One of the best in the series. Honestly, top three for me. Might just be Triple Deluxe. Uh, Robobot and Return of Dreamland. It might just be that simple. Because they they might be the most... <sighs> then again, Superstar Ultra is incredibly good. So, it's what... it's it's Those are top four, though. Those are definitely top four. I can say that with confidence. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. Other than that... Uh, now let's go into Robobot. Robobot takes the setting... It's it. Robobot is a more direct sequel to Triple Deluxe than Triple Deluxe is to uh, Return to Dreamland. Mainly just because they're on the same console, the 3DS. So the, the the mechanics are pretty much the same. Like the 3DS didn't add too much going from the Wii. They added like some tilt controls and stuff like that. Maybe some like some pointer things like where you had to tilt. Really just tilt controls and I guess the second screen added a few things. So it's pretty much a direct sequel to Triple Deluxe in every way. Uh, so it, it basically just made everything about Triple Deluxe better. Um, Triple Deluxe did introduce Hypernova, but I'm going to be honest. 
Hypernova, the sections were kind of... They were all right. I think... Huh. They were probably better than the super sections in, like, the Return to Dreamland, maybe. But I think I do like the Return to Dreamland ones better, just personal preference. But the Robobot armor, they, they, they took, like, that on a whole other level. They made that the center of the game, practically. They have whole levels surround, built by it. And it's great. It's great. It, it has, like, multiple, way more uses than... And the superpowers and Return to Dreamland did, and the Hypernova did, and Triple Lux, and it's overall just it's great. It's, it's great, great. But then, and I I feel like it's easier to be critical, like at least to talk about being critical of a game than it is to be praising it. At least for me, <laughs> because I feel like I've been praising these last three games, and I feel like I'm kind of meandering. But now I'm going to stop meandering. Kirby Star Allies. Uh, it's not a bad game. I wouldn't say it's a bad game. It's a boring game. It's it's not... It's kind of lackluster. Okay. Well, let me tell you where I'm coming from from here. It has a lot of good things. It reintroduced a uh, four-player multiplayer. Uh, just like Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Just like... Really just like Curves of Trim of Dreamland. Like, but also similar to Superstar because it brought the allies back. It brought the helpers, but they're called allies in this game. And that's kind of where the game is quote-unquote built off of, the helpers, the, the allies. It's in the game, Kirby Star allies. But unlike the Robobot armor, they don't really do that much. Uh, there's a few, uh, I'm just gonna go over some of the allies' powers right quick, while I can think of, one of them is a bridge, which is incredibly boring of a mechanic, it's not really bad, it's just, it's, it's just not very interesting. Another mechanic is the, tr is the train and, like, the, the friend wheel, which are pretty much the exact same, <laughs> they're not exactly the same, but the, they're both two unstoppable moving objects that you have to time your jumps properly. Like, if, if, if you've played the game, you, you would know what I'm talking about. They, they, all they do is you need four, like, uh, dream friends. And they, in the wheel, it turns into a wheel and you just roll forward throughout the rest of, like, the course that they built off you. And you just have to time your jumps right so you don't die. And then for the train, you just have them lined up in four people. And then you have to time your jumps right, so you don't die. It's pretty much the exact same thing, just with like a few minor details. Just, but it, it, it's pretty much the same. And then you have, I think, the other really main one is like the the star ride. I don't really know what to call it. it it's another cannon. Like we we've seen them in so many Kirby games. A Kirby Superstar, not even Kirby Superstar. I guess the first to do it might have been Kirby's Adventure when you get the the Star Wand and you fight uh, Nightmare's first form. That's pretty much the first time they did something like that. They did it again in Kirby's Dreamland Three. Uh, they don't in in Kirby sixty four. It's three D, so it's different. Uh, then in Super Star, they do it again while you fight the Core Core Nova in the little cannon section. They do it in Kirby's Return to Dreamland at the very end of the game. I'm not gonna tell you what it is in case you still haven't played the game, but uh, and then they they do they don't they don't do it in Triple X. There is no cannon section Triple X, but in Robobot it's uh <laughs> it's you it's one of the Robobot transformations if you absorb the plane ability, which is pretty neat. But other than let me make let me make a few pickaxes. But and somehow it's the most boring in this game. I don't know how, but, like, I think my favorite might be Kirby's Return to Dreamland, just because it only lasts for that short amount of the game. It's at the very end. And it's fun. It's just completely... You, you don't see it coming, and it's great. And Robobot is, like, the whole level is built around it. It In Star Allies, it shows up, like, maybe two or three times, and, like, you don't really do very much in it. It's kind of... Well, underwhelming. Best way to put it. Just, just 
there's just not enough there. Like you have the sub, you have the basic premise of it down. Just a lack of substance, maybe. And that's the best way to put it. Anyway, the ally powers are born. They are a gigantic downgrade from the innovation that was uh, the Robobot armor. So, 186. So now we need to go to uh, 1086. But from the Robobot armor, it's just incredibly underwhelming. Like, they don't do... And at the very end of the game, they do something kind of... They do something really cool, which is the add... I'm just going to say it, a 3D segment. Add a 3D segment, kind of, where you... Where it's basically like the cannon, but it's it's in 3D, essentially. So you're shooting, shooting stars at the final boss until you... Yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, and that's cool. Um, Kirby 64 kind of did it first. But they did, they did they did do it better in Star Allies. But okay. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? I'm just going to make a little Yeah, I'm a pass. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. Easy fix. <laughs> Easy fix. Again? Why? I never have gotten this much lava. I'm at y why? Am I That's because I'm at Y10. Why I'm at Y10. This is this is where all the lava spawns, no wonder. Too late to go back now. Yeah, Y11 is best, because way more lava spawns at Y10. So Star Allies, it's now that I'm talking about how the friend abilities are kind of just underwhelming compared to at least the past things we've had. I'm gonna talk about the world. It's incredibly similar to Return of Dreamland in the sense that the worlds are very, very basic. So I went to the right, right? So I should be going left. Two fifty four, yep, so that should be two six six fifty four. Okay. Right, so the first world it's basically all grass, surprise. Then you like it does it in a in a really interesting way where it expands outward. Like you go you start in a dreamland, then you go to Pop Star, then you go to this place called Jam Bastion, and then you go to like the whole universe. But, they're all very similar to what we've done before. I mean, like, the last world is pretty much just Milky Way Wishes, but, hey, diamonds. But expanded outwards, which isn't bad, it's just, we've done it before. I've done it before. I've, we've done this before, and this is supposed to be, like, the big Kirby game, where everything's different, everything's new, everything's fresh. I mean, it's not supposed to be that, but, like, I think, I feel like it would be better if it was. Give me one second. I'm going to mute myself for one moment. So just watch me mine for a moment. 
Oh, just give me one moment. I might, I might cut it. I'm not gonna cut this out. So just, just watch me mine. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. So, anyway, uh, oh, I got more diamonds. If I'm, uh, you guys saw. Which is, so anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the, the world selection is nothing new. The setting is almost exactly as things we've seen before. Whether it be almost, rep where it, it feels exactly just, like return to dreamland and maybe like a superstar superstar ultra form but that's about it it's the okay for example there's one level that irks me irks me uh in superstar there's one level the first level in milky way wishes you transition between the seasons it's a fun mechanic that it's like a puzzle solving you have to go through doors to transition to seasons to transition through the seasons to figure out where to go, where how to how to beat the level, and they do that again in Star Allies, but they left out Winter for some reason, and I guess they didn't have that. It's it's very clear that they've been they were reusing assets from like the things they've already made in the game, like you can see like, and the reason that they didn't make a Winter part of that level is because they didn't really have a decent like Winter looking level. To make it from, I guess. And I think that's kind of telling. That they just didn't... That they, they they were willing to make this reference, but they weren't really to go all out with it. And I think that's one of the main problems. They just don't... They... They don't go far enough in the game. Now... That's just the main game. The main game, in my opinion, one of the more lackluster Kirby games. But... The DLC is free. And what the DLC does is it adds uh, new dream friends, which means new playable characters from the Kirby franchise. Which, really, if you are a Kirby fan, that's the main reason to get the game. Just for, just to play as these new dream friends. My favorite, Magalore, because uh, he's my favorite, probably, probably my favorite Kirby character, just because he's returned to Dreamland, and that's my, probably my favorite Kirby game. But all other ones are really fun, they're really unique. You have one from pretty much every mainline Kirby game since uh, Kirby's Dreamland One. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's great. It's cool. Yeah, I mean, and that's really just the main reason. And but, but the thing is that the they didn't come out with a main game. The only dream, the only. Uh, Dream friends that came out with the main game were King DDD, Meta Knight, and Waddle D, which are interesting, but they're kind of all reskins of pre existing power ups. King DDD is just hammer, Meta Knight is just sword, and Waddle D is an interesting case because he's just spear, but the thing is, spear's not in the game for some reason. Like, they 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 made him where he's exactly like Spear what the Spear copy ability was in Return to Dreamland, except uh, <laughs> uh, I guess I can mine that Obsidian now if I want to. Except he doesn't. He it's not in the game. It's just weird because he's in okay in Return Kirby's Return to Dreamland. You have four playable characters. You can either do four Kirby's or. Kirby, King DDD, Meta Knight, and Waddle D. Or at least Bandana D. And Bandana D has a spear, and his abilities are exactly like Spear was in Kirby's Return to Dreamland. 
because that that's what that's in that game the spirit cop ability was introduced and he's exactly like that ability so he is the spearhead <laughs> of the he, he, he is the spear icon so it makes sense that he would be exactly like spear but it's weird that they just didn't they didn't just put spear in the game because they made it where all the abilities are kind of made for bandana d but i didn't want to make him for kirby which i think is kind of weird i i don't know it's strange anyway so those they're kind of things that are all kind of boring but then the dlc is free but i just think it should have come out with base game as all these things because uh, it, it has some of the stuff that main game was lacking and just this isn't really what i'm about to say isn't really a big deal but it just kind of <clears throat> gets on my nerves why didn't they call it the true arena why they have to call it uh i literally can't even remember what it's called because it's so stupid uh pepper hot something i don't i don't know whatever it was called in kirby star allies they should have called it the true arena because that's what's been called for the last four mainline kirby games since it's been called that since kirby superstar ultra and then they called it that, that again in Kirby's Trainer Dreamland and Kirby's Triple Lux and Kirby Planet Robot. And they didn't call it that for this game. And I get that they, it, it's different, that they added more options. But they can they still could have called it the True Arena and just gave it more options. Like, it's just stupid. Just I like it being called the True Arena. I know it's like a stupid thing to complain about. But like, <laughs> it should be called the True Arena. It's stupid. Just... Uh, okay, it's been about an hour, so hmm. I'm gonna go get that obsidian first. I'm gonna get this obsidian. I'm gonna, and then I'm going to make an enchantment table, and then I'm going to get off. I think, yeah. But. That's essentially my Kirby thoughts for now. Maybe I'll go into more detail in some of the older Kirby games because there is there is stuff to talk about there. Um, I don't have as as strong opinions about it just because uh, I kind of played them after the fact. But they're they're not bad games by any means, but they're just less interesting. Well, it, kinda. I don't know. There's a lot to talk about in pre Return to Dreamland. But, I, but Kirby's Star Allies is apparently like the last re dream, Return to Dreamland style Kirby game. So whatever they're having next, it's supposed to be something entirely new. Something different. Something we haven't seen before. So, I am excited for that. I just wish they would have went... Basically my generation of Kirby, the Kirby games that I grew up on, I wish they would have went out with a bit something more interesting but i don't think star allies makes the games prior to it worse so we still have return to dreamland we still have triple lux we still have planet robot we just don't have something as good as those which sucks but hey what are you gonna do i hope my nether spawn is good this is the bad thing about 1.16, I like what they did overall. I, I do like it overall. It's a great update. But the nether spawn is so much harder to find a fortress. That That's what keeps killing me in these... I've done like a few hardcores on my own. What keeps killing me is the nether. Because I can just never find a nether fortress. So I just end up searching forever. Go really far away from my portal. And I just die. I die of a hoglin or I die of lava. Or my game crashes because I turn my shaders off. And then... Uh, the Strider I was writing despawns. It's, it's great. It's great. <sighs> hopefully, I'll, hopefully we'll have good luck. Hopefully. We can help. Okay. Hey. 
Cool. Uh, I have eight diamonds left, so I could go for tools or I could go for chest plate. I'm going to go for tools. Uh, I have six left. So I can do... I'm going to just go for full tools first. Why not? I have the exact amount I would need for that. So uh, why not? Why not? Why not? You know, you gotta spend money to make money. Okay, so this is pretty much it for this episode. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Or maybe not. Or maybe. Or maybe not. Now I'm gonna do the thing, like I did last episode, where I end the video abruptly. So, here I go. I'm going to end the video.